sorry, kitty cat. I'm a bit over my head at the moment. I bet. Guardian of the Miraculous? Big name, big responsibility. When Marinette is introduced in the first episode of Miraculous Ladybug, she already has a raging crush on Adrian Agreste. The fashion model is the apple of Paris's eye, but Marinette actively seeks his attention despite her tendency for clumsiness and nerves. Throughout the series and its movie-length specials, there are occasions when Marinette's crush on Adrian goes a step too far. Although Marinette and Adrian finally start a relationship in Season 5, the journey to get there is far from peaceful. In today's video, we're evaluating moments when Marinette's crush bordered on obsession. Don't worry, I'll never claw a secret out of you, m'lady. Uh? Mm. Number 5. Marinette Kisses Adrian's Statue One of the main things that stand in the way of Marinette and Adrian's relationship is her inability to speak her true feelings. In the earlier seasons, Marinette couldn't be in Adrian's presence without stumbling over her words, hiding behind her friends, or tripping over objects in her environment. Adrian determines this to be an endearing quirk of Marinette's and fails to recognize her clumsiness as a sign of adoration. Marinette takes every opportunity to confess her feelings for Adrian, but usually does so when he isn't present. An example of this happens in the episode The Puppeteer 2. In the episode, Adrian must attend an event at the museum. He asks if he can bring a friend, but takes Nino, Alia, Marinette, and the girl Marinette is babysitting, Mano. While on the ride to the museum, Alia and Nino scheme how to get Adrian and Marinette alone, which includes taking Mano off her hands. At the museum, the group is given a tour of the statues and watches as Adrian's arm is cast for his wax sculpture. At the same time, Marinette insists on not being left alone with Adrian, which makes him believe she is upset with him. Alia and Nino leave their friends alone and take Mano but eventually begin teasing one another. Mano, feeling forgotten, is akumatized by Hawk Moth. At the same time, Adrian goes after the recently fled Marinette. When Adrian finds her, he pranks her by pretending to be a statue. Marinette openly admires this statue and leans in for a kiss. Surprised, Adrian pulls away. When he asks if she meant her words, Marinette lies, claiming she knew he was a statue and only said them as a joke. But then, if I'm not a good friend, what am I to you? You're... <laughs> Toilets! Number 4. Marinette has Adrian's schedule memorized. Adrian is a very busy person. Aside from being cat noir in secret, he maintains multiple responsibilities in his personal life. Outside his weekly classes, he does photo shoots, models, learns Chinese, practices fencing, and plays basketball. These obligations are only a few and they continue to take up his time throughout the series. Since Adrian is so busy, he sometimes can't make time for his friends. Marinette's solution is simple. She memorizes his schedule by heart. Marinette's bedroom can be considered a shrine to Adrian. She has pictures of him plastered to every wall and uses a picture of him as a background for her computer. In the episode Copycat, she reveals an extensive calendar that rolls down from her ceiling. The calendar contains all of Adrian's social engagements and extracurricular activities throughout the year. Marinette uses the calendar to memorize Adrian's schedule so she always knows where he is and who he's with. If that isn't alarming enough, she also uses the calendar to orchestrate schemes to communicate with him. In Copycat, Alia encourages Marinette to call Adrian. She even writes her friend a script to follow so Marinette can invite Adrian to see a movie without tripping over her words. Marinette initially protests, using the calendar to show that Adrian is preoccupied with fencing practice. Most people would be unnerved to learn about their schedule being memorized, but fortunately, Marinette abandons this habit in Season 5. He's got fencing club after school. That's why he didn't pick up. It ends in exactly 22 and a half minutes. You are seriously insane. Number 3. Marinette spies on Adrian Everyone knows that Adrian lives under the thumb of his overbearing father. Gabriel dictates every part of Adrian's life, including his obligations, his friends, and the social events he can attend. Adrian rarely receives permission from his father to do anything, not without some convincing. One of Gabriel's rules is Adrian's not allowed to have friends visit, aside from his cousin Felix or the daughter of a family friend, Kagami. Adrian is fortunate enough to have friends who understand and sympathize with his situation. That's why when Gabriel supposedly leaves for a business trip in the episode Party Crasher, Nino arrives to make the most out of the situation. Nino and some other friends bribe their way into the Agreste estate by giving Adrian's bodyguard action figures. Once inside, they explore Adrian's room and crank up the music until an all-out party begins. The party, considered only for boys, excludes Adrian's female friends. Marinette grows suspicious when many of her friends abandon their previous plans. She determines that they must be visiting Adrian while his father is away and goes to investigate. When she is turned away at the door, she does everything she can to infiltrate the party. 
This includes trying to spy through Adrian's window, enlisting the help of a firefighter, and dressing up to fool the bodyguard. Her actions are a tad excessive, but they pay off, as she's available to help Cat Noir and additional heroes when an akumatized villain arrives. Uh, Marinette? Uh, uh, no, 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 no! It's me, Marino! Number 2. Marinette has a gift for every occasion. Marinette can occasionally be paranoid. Her duties as Ladybug often leave her stressed and worried about future dangers. She is a meticulous planner as a result, and she tries to come up with solutions to every problem. Her cautious nature also appears in her personal life as Marinette prepares for every possibility. Her budding relationship with Adrian is no exception. Marinette keeps a trunk full of presents to ensure she has something to give Adrian no matter the occasion. It is safe to assume that one of Marinette's love languages is gift giving. She is very creative and makes things for her friends without being asked. In one of the first episodes of Miraculous Ladybug, The Bubbler, she makes a scarf to give to Adrian as a birthday present. The gift is handmade and thoughtful, but it loses some of its charms when you realize that she could have opened the trunk in her room and had her pick of potential presents. The trunk can be seen in the episode Chris Master, when Marinette is babysitting Nino's little brother Chris. Bored of Marinette's games, Chris opens the trunk to reveal several presents. To hide the truth about each of them belonging to Adrian, Marinette lies to Chris and claims she is one of Santa's secret elves. Okay, it's all just a dream. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> wow, why did you do that, Tiki? Number 1. Marinette mistakes Luca for Adrian. Eventually, Marinette concludes that she will never tell Adrian her true feelings. As she comes to terms with her crush not working out and Adrian growing closer to his new friend Kagami, she searches for a relationship elsewhere. She meets Luca Kufain in Season 2, and although they have obvious chemistry, they don't begin dating until the Season 3 finale Miracle Queen. When Season 4 begins, Marinette and Luca appear in an established relationship. The season's first episode, Truth, shows Marinette struggling with her new duties as the Miracle Box's guardian. Amidst trying to corral many Kwamis, she is reminded of her date with Luca when he calls. As she converses with him, she mistakenly calls him Adrian. Luca handled the situation with his usual relaxed and calm demeanor. He politely reminds her that his name is Luca, and they continue on their movie date as planned. Although Luca handled it well at the moment, it must have bothered him to hear Marinette call him by the name of her former crush. As later in the episode, he becomes akumatized into the titular villain. As truth, Luca tries to uncover Marinette's secrets, but becomes frustrated when people tell him she's in love with Adrian. At the end of the episode, Marinette and Luca break up, not just because of Marinette's identity as Ladybug, but because she never stopped loving Adrian in the first place. You okay? So, how about that tune? Will you let me hear it? Are you sure you really want to hear it? Marinette is a main character who is far from perfect. Her flaws make her endearing, as every good hero needs to learn, grow, and overcome obstacles that they make for themselves. Unfortunately, some of Marinette's traits are less than admirable, from obsessive behavior to dating someone when she didn't truly love them to begin with. Fortunately, Marinette learns from each of these mistakes or poor behaviors and rectifies them in the future. As Season 5 progresses, she shows more maturity in her newfound relationship with her longtime crush. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Batty, a Senta monster, and Shadow Moth? It's even more exciting with his new name, don't you think? He can change his name as often as he likes.